back to my channel. Well, welcome me back to my channel because where have I been? <laughs> so right now we are headed to the gas station because we need gas first. But we are headed to Kohl's and then Old Navy for the boys clothes. And then we are doing our grocery shopping today. So we have to go to Sam's Club first, which is out in Watertown. So we're gonna do the clothing shopping and then we're gonna go to Sam's Club. And then after Sam's Club, we're gonna hit up the commissary. And then after that, I think we are done for the day. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Yeah, our budget for grocery shopping is of course $300. That's what we have all the time. Uh, if you like videos like this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys once we get to Kohl's. So I do want to show you guys my hair because I had it, I used my leave it in conditioner and I finger coiled the top part a couple days ago and then I had the back part twisted and then I just took it out this morning and they are so defined and soft. Looks really good. So I'm gonna probably wear it like this for the rest of the week. I did something different. So what I did different this time was um, before I put any product in my hair, I put this part up into the half up ponytail and then I style my hair after. Usually I just twist my hair up and then after it dries and I take the twist down, I'll style it. But I went ahead and styled it first and I like it better like that. Looks cleaner, neater, and yeah, so it's definitely given everything I needed to give. It looks really good today. And I used my leave it in conditioner. I really been liking the leave it in conditioner and the hair repair cream. Those have been my two favorites lately, so bless you check out my website. I'll have it linked down below. PrettyHairCareLLC.com It's merch. From her favorite YouTuber. Hi. His name is Boxy. Yep. And on the back is Boxy. Who's the YouTuber? Um, it's Linky Box. Lanky box. But my favorite favorite. Uh oh, it's dark. Hold on. My favorite favorite YouTuber is called Adriana. <laughs> <laughs> She's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Better than the other one. Yeah, it's good. Better than me. So we're in Old Navy to shop for the boys' school clothes, the rest of their school stuff. So we are going to try to find them a few shirts and I think maybe some pants. Because it looks like they have some really nice pants in here. I think my bodysuit just came undone. <laughs> oh, they don't have a price on here. Okay, well, they must not have any sales going on. I mean, these graphic tees don't look too bad. Like, this one stood out to me. This one and this one. Now we're about to hit up Target to look for the kids, the boys. Because we already went shopping for her at JCPenney. Um, but we gotta go shopping for the boys' pants. Um, Old Navy didn't have any good deals or anything, so we're gonna have to check out Target and then go back to JCPenney for their pants. So we ended up finding them both the same pair of pants. So we got them both black, and and then we got them both these like denim ones with the holes in it, with the rolled up at the bottom. These are really nice. I think they're all twenty dollars each. All right, we just finished clothes shopping for the kids back to school. I'm gonna do a whole back to school haul. Um, I'll probably film that video tomorrow because my mom got the kids a few things and then we had went uh, a couple weeks ago and got the kids some stuff and they got brand new shoes and backpacks and stuff. So I really wanna show you guys what we got them for back to school. So we just finished up the last little bit of back to school shopping that we had to do. Now we're about to go to Sam's Club and do our grocery shopping. And I have a whole like, grocery list right now I actually printed off some paper um, to write I'm gonna show you guys 
what I have. So I, I printed off a couple of recipes so I could get the exact ingredients and I didn't miss anything. My camera cut off on me because I ran out of storage. But I was showing you guys my grocery list. So I printed this off the internet. It says grocery list. And then over here it has breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So you just write down what you're gonna eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then on this side, it has like fruits, vegetable, meat, fish, dairy, bread, canned goods, condiments, sauce, oils, pasta, frozen snacks, beverages, household, health, beauty, and other items. So I have everything organized in the sections that I need to buy them. And then I wrote down what we're gonna have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the next two weeks. I don't know if I filmed this already, but I did go all of August without eating meat. And I have made it all the way to the very last day. It's been the whole month and I haven't had any meat. Now, let me tell you guys, I see no change in myself. You can go to Sam's Club. I'm be honest, I see hardly no change, okay? I still have eaten junk food. Um, the plant-based meat makes me bloated, so I haven't really been eating a lot of that. It's mainly been core life, which is right here. I've mainly been, my core, my diet the whole month has, has consisted of core life. Let's just keep it real, it has. And Sam's Club cheese pizza. That's just what I've been eating. So I'm definitely gonna give me a cheese pizza today. So the reason why I didn't give in, because Drew did not have faith that I could go the whole month. And at this point, it wasn't about being healthy. It wasn't about just not wanting to eat meat. It wasn't about fasting anymore. It was proven to Drew that I could do it. <laughs> and so that was the whole, re I think once I got through like half the month, my whole reason like changed. I was like, forget this. I'm still, I'm still fat. Who cares? At this point, it's just proven to Drew. I, mean, that. I guess it's worth it because I'll never say you won't do nothing. <laughs> yeah, because he always thinks that I can't finish something and I never like fall through with anything. So I had to prove to him like, no, look, I can do it. So we're on our last day. Tomorrow I can eat meat again. All right, I haven't gotten pot stickers in a really long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them today because these are so good. So I'm about to go over the grocery budget just a little bit. So. Actually, I'm not even gonna use the grocery budget for this, but I am definitely getting this um, crab legs for $25 because they're still on sale. And I think I have potato meal for tomorrow, so we're gonna do crab legs with it. I'm also gonna do some salmon, it's $22.98. It is pretty expensive, but it's really good and we haven't had it in a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and get it. It looks like Drew already got the water down there, so I can cross those two off my list. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck did you just do? All right, so we got 376 for the eggs. Oh my God, look what she did. <laughs> now we need milk. Milk is 330, 343. I'm gonna walk all the way up in here. All right, that's milk. We're also gonna do some nectarines for $7.98 because Baby Drew and Big Drew really love these. So I'm gonna get these. Of course, they're gonna get some grapes. They're $5.98. We're getting two. You're getting two of them? Yep. Okay. Those are good. Yeah, We're gonna do the Kool Aid Jammers for $7.64. <laughs> He's annoying. <laughs> Baby Drew got a pretzel. Ew. <laughs> Drew got a hot dog with mustard and a meat lover's pizza. I got cheese pizza and then we also got the boys um, a whole pizza. It was a pepperoni one, so we're waiting on that right now. This was everything that we got today. It came up to $111. All right, I am back home from the commissary and Sam's Club and Kohl's and Target and Old Navy. We went everywhere today. so. We are back home. We did go over budget by what, $40? Yeah. $40 over budget, not too bad. Um, we got everything we needed. There's a few things that I need, such as ground turkey, cream cheese, um, mozzarella cheese. It's like little stuff like that, chicken salad from Walmart. It's a couple things that I do need, but I'm gonna pick that up tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna go to Walmart to pick that stuff up. So, but um, right now I got the main stuff, everything that was on my grocery list, I was able to get. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got. And I'm also gonna tell you what I am making for the next couple of weeks. Okay, starting over here with Sam's Club. I got a water, which is in the pantry right now. We got two containers of grapes because we really like Sam's Club grapes and Big Drew will tear these up. So we got two of those. The salmon is pretty expensive there, but it tastes really good. I love the way it cooks. We really like this one, so I go ahead and get this one. I'm gonna make some 
I think asparagus and rice with this. And then I also have some pot stickers for my lunch. I'm gonna probably have this with some ramen or I like to have it just on its own, but I love their pot stickers. This is my favorite. And um, I'm gonna start getting these again when I go to Sam's Club. Also have some 2% milk, some nectarines because we really like the nectarines from Sam's Club and their gala apples are really good. The commissary's apples have been like that big and no one has been liking the commissary apples. So we went ahead and got them from Sam's Club today. Kool-Aid jammers. Um, the Capri Sun went up to like $9, so I haven't even been buying it. I just get the Kool-Aid jammers and the kids are fine with that. The last thing I got was the snow crab legs. And this was actually on sale from $40 to $25. So I got a really good deal on this. And this has been on sale for almost a month now. Now coming over here to the commissary, I have some medium shells right here. I got two boxes of medium shells, two boxes of penne, and then one box of thick spaghetti. And then I think for the medium shells, I'm making like a lasagna casserole type of thing. And then for the penne, I'm making a chicken bacon ranch. I need the ranch seasoning and rotisserie chicken for this, which I'm gonna get at Walmart tomorrow, but I'm making a chicken bacon ranch casserole for that. I printed off the recipe, so I just take the ingredient list to Walmart and just shop from there. Bell peppers, cause I'm making a turkey meatloaf, turkey and quinoa meatloaf. And I think we're gonna have mashed potatoes and gravy with that. Also have some onion for the meals and then the asparagus for the um, salmon. I think it's just gonna be me and Drew to eat this asparagus. I don't think the kids are gonna want that. But I am gonna make rice with the salmon. And then I got these fresh green beans. I'm gonna make some bacon and onion with this. And this is gonna be so good. Um, what am I cooking this with? I think the meatloaf with mashed potatoes and green beans. I think that's what we're gonna have for that. And then I got some pepperonis for, oh, pepperonis and croissants because I'm going to make pizza rolls. And then Drew picked up this bag of ramen for himself. We also have some breadsticks for one of the pastas. Six of these Lunchables for the weekend for the kids. Um, I only got six of the pepperoni pizza ones. Some chicken gravy because I'm going to slow cook some chicken thighs and make mashed potatoes with gravy. I think it was green beans for this one too. And then Drew got two cans of bacon, bean with bacon soup, tomato paste, because I'm going to make that poor man stew. It has the ground beef, uh, potatoes. What else do I put in there? I make it with like vegetable, uh, vegetable broth. It's like a bunch of vegetables and, and ground beef and potatoes, and it's really good. I've made it a few times on my channel. And then I have some canned green beans for the night that we don't eat the fresh green beans. And then... I have, did I get two? I got one jar of garlic Alfredo and one jar of regular Alfredo for Alfredo night. And then two packs of the loaded baked potato, mashed potatoes for whenever we eat the mashed potatoes. And then here's the quinoa I got to put in the turkey meatloaf. I'm excited to try that. And then some Prego flavored with meat for spaghetti and meatball night. And we got some more hot sauce. Over here, Baby Drew really likes the cookies and cream Pop-Tarts. So I got her a box of the cookies and cream Pop-Tarts. Also got her a bag of pretzels to take because they're going back to school. So I got her a bag of pretzels for um, snack, which I forgot to get the little baggies, which I got to go to Walmart and get. Drew picked this out for himself. Cranberry almonds, special K bars. And then I love to snack on these cheese and peanut butter crackers. So I got these for myself and if anyone else wants them. And then Drew thought they would like these as snack as well. So we got a pack of the mini donuts. And also a box of Oreos. A lot of back to school snacks because we're going to need these every day because they like to take snacks to school. And then we got the chips for the weekend for with, with their lunch. I don't normally cook on the weekend so... Whatever I, whatever small thing I cook, whatever they have for lunch, they can have a bag of chips with that. So it's 42 bags and has a good variety in here for them. And we had a coupon for a dollar off of this. Back here, I also got some extra sweet corn for uh, the seafood boil night. And then I got these for myself because I'm about to start eating meat again tomorrow. So I need some something to eat for lunch instead of going out and getting core life every day. I can do the pizza rolls that I showed you guys with the pepperonis and the croissants. I can do sandwiches. Um, I need to get chicken salad from Walmart and then I'm gonna do these steak and cheese taquitos 
for a lunch as well. For the weekend, I also got some fish sticks for either lunch or dinner and my Bob Evans sausage, which I cannot wait to eat. And then I got two packs of the meatballs. Drew also bought the smoked turkey drums. I mean, we may slow cook that. I don't know how we're gonna cook that, but he wanted it, so we got it. And then also got some shrimp for the seafood boil and then a pack of ground beef. And then we have two packs of smoked sausage for the seafood boil and then a pack of bacon to make with the chicken bacon ranch casserole and for the green beans. And then I also got some chicken nuggets for the weekend. For lunch, for lunch and or dinner. And then I got the boneless skinless chicken thighs that you can cook from frozen. And then the um, thin sliced trimmed and ready boneless skinless chicken breast. So I think that I got this one because it's already thin sliced and I prefer my chicken thin sliced. And you can also cook this from frozen as well. So. I think these will be really good. Sourdough bread to eat with my chicken salad that I'm gonna get from Walmart. Can make sourdough chicken salad sandwiches. And then my muffins for breakfast sandwiches. So you just, I got the Bob Evans sausage. We also got some cheese, eggs, and then I can eat my muffins again. And hot dog buns. We already have hot dogs here. I just needed some buns. The s'mores pop tarts, the boys really like this. Lucky Charms cereal, because I think we already have cereal, so I really didn't need to get more. The little potatoes for our seafood boil. Unsalted butter for the seafood boil and for cooking. And then I also got a pack of white American cheese. Italian blend cheese, because I think for one of the meals that I'm making, I needed this. And the pizza blend cheese for the homemade pizza rolls with the croissants and the pepperonis. And then two pizzas for lazy dinner night. I got two of the same one, DiGiorno for meat, thin crust pizza. So that was everything that I picked up today from the commissary and Sam's Club. Okay, so I printed off the recipe. So this one is the poor man's stew with the ground beef, potatoes, carrots. Oh, I need carrots. Um, garlic, tomato paste. It says two cups of water, but I like to use either chicken broth or vegetable broth. I prefer the vegetable broth because I noticed it adds more flavor. Salt, pepper, onion powder, and dried oregano. Very, very easy recipe. I make this at least once every couple of weeks. I don't make it every week, but I think once every grocery trip, I'll make this because it's so easy. You just It's like a dump and go type thing. You can make it in the slow cooker, but I like to just make it on the stove. It cooks the same. It tastes really good. And I like to make it with the French bread um, that comes in like the croissant thing, but like the French bread that you bake in the oven, so good. And then I have the lasagna casserole. Okay, so this one takes ground beef as well. So I did need the ground beef for this. So ground beef for the poor man's stew and the lasagna casserole. So ground beef, chopped onions, salt, pepper, um, medium pasta shells, which I got, mozzarella cheese, cottage cheese, eggs, Parmesan cheese, um, parsley flakes, and pasta sauce. So another really easy recipe. And then we have the turkey and quinoa meatloaf. So we need quinoa, chicken stock, olive oil, onion, carrots, um, Red bell pepper, garlic, ground turkey, tomato paste, cayenne pepper, garlic pepper, onion powder, Worcestershire sauce, egg, salt, pepper, and brown sugar. And we have the chicken bacon ranch casserole, which is bacon, onion, garlic, cream cheese, milk, dry ranch seasoning, mozzarella cheese, rotini pasta, and chopped rotisserie chicken. So some easy recipes um, that I have. So I, like I said, I got most of the stuff. I mainly just need like the cheese, carrots, cream cheese, little stuff like that that I can easily pick up from Walmart. So this was a pretty good grocery trip. I was able to get more meals and still stay relatively in budget. This does feed five people. So $340 for five people, not too bad, not too bad. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!